Hello and welcome to the Truth Reveal podcast, where we host conversations that relate or and reconcile and we reveal God's truth in the process. We are so happy that you guys have uh, endeavored to join us today for another great conversation. Um, I hope that you're ready for this one. Um, and I know, you know, as you probably can see, one person is missing. <laughs> <laughs> April yeah. Rivers. Um, unfortunately, see. she will not be joining us, you know, um, in the furtherance of Truth Reveal <laughs> podcast <laughs> due to her schedule. She has a lot on her plate. She's a single mom. She doing everything at her church. <laughs> she, got, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she got her own uh, gardening channel on YouTube. So she has a lot that she's doing. And so we definitely understood and wished her well and definitely, definitely miss and love her. And we're still friends. So it ain't nothing like that. But, you know. This is what it is today. All right. Just me and sweet this time. And of course, our special guest. So welcome again to the show. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, we have a topic for you on this very day. Um, I just want to give a disclaimer that we are going to be covering some a very sensitive topic. And just want you to rid of your heart, your mind, and your soul for, uh, you know, some things that may be said may be triggering to some, or you may get angry. I, I you know, I don't know, but you know, uh, we at Truth Reveal have endeavored to have the hard conversations, to have conversations uh, that bring forth reconciliation, and those are the hard conversations um, that we do not shy away from. So I just wanted to put that disclaimer out that out there. So with that being said, it is Pride <laughs> Month. Um, by the time you guys hear this episode, <laughs> it'll be the end of Pride Month because we uh, drop our episodes at the end of the month, but Pride Month the less. And so we wanted to tackle a lot of what's been going on lately uh, in the media with the different boycotts and all of that kind of stuff. There's been a lot going on. So we wanted to talk about it um, as it relates to, you know, Christians and uh, what has been deemed as woke advertising. And so there's been a lot going on. Um, there has it started a few months ago. There was um, a controversy with Bud Light. Um, there was an, um, uh, actor and social media influencer his name by the name of Dylan Mulvaney, um, who had a partnership with them. They sent him some beers and uh, he posted to his Twitter page, you know, about it. Um, and he's also a transgender. So, of course, this, you know, sparked outrage uh, with a lot of Christians. And, you know, there was some boycotting that took place mm -hmm. as it related to that. Then a few days ago, there was a Dodgers controversy um, Dodge, the Dodgers were set to honor the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, uh, which they are a charitable, um, excuse me, they're a charitable organization. Um, they've done a lot of work around, uh, AIDS and that sort of thing, um, that they are part of the LGBTQ uh, community, uh, but they also, in protest, they dress up as nuns. So whether they are male or female, they dress up as nuns uh, as a protest against the church's treatment of the LGBTQ community. So, of course, that sparked uh, outrage amongst a lot of Catholics. And they, you know, kind of, <clears throat> they did like, it was a peaceful protest, but they did like a prayer protest in front of Dodger Stadium. They blocked uh, the gate and everything. But, you know, everything was peaceful. And so nothing crazy happened uh, as a result of that. But then, of course, there has been the Target controversy, which that was the one that was really publicized just because of everything that happened as a result of it. Um, with the Target controversy, uh, most of it centered around uh, tuck-friendly bathing suits for kids, you know. Um, but it turned out that those <laughs> uh, bathing suits were also in adult sizes. So, um, you know, initially... There was that, you know, uh, uproar, but it was found out that they were in adult sizes. And so and then there was also anger around their partnership with Apparellin, um, and the designer Eric Carnell, um, which they believe that it was associated with satanic. Uh, designs like this particular brand of his was associated with satanic designs. And on 
the brand's Instagram um, site, uh, it talked about how um, Satan respects pronouns was one of the things listed on this particular brand site. And then there were also some designs that featured horns and pentagrams. But of course, none of those things were on sale at Target. Um, you know, Target, they offered more than 2000 products to include clothing, to include books, music, home furnishings as a part of their pride collection. Um, the items included gender fluid mugs um, that, you know, stated queer all year. Um, and calendars and books for children uh, ages two through eight that were titled Bye Bye Binary, uh, Pride One, Two, Three, and I'm Not a Girl. And of course, there were some baby clothes that were included in that as well. Um, the company uh, said, you know, as a result of this, there were people who began to come to Target. They began to target their employees. They were throwing down the Pride merchandise displays. They were you know, th sending like threatening posts on social media, um, you know, with videos from inside the store, <laughs> they mm -hmm. were threatening people. Um, some were throwing pride items on the floor. And of course, as a result of this, you know, Target, they lost $5.7 billion. You know, there was bomb threats to their um, company, I mean, to the different stores in five states. Um, and so as a result, of course, they pulled the merchandise that was associated with that Apparelin brand um, specifically. And so, yeah, so it's been a lot going on. And so, again, like I said, we wanted to uh, talk about this topic today. And with us today to talk about, you know, all that has been going on is a great friend of ours by the name of Shamika Ricks. Yeah, Shamika, we have known her for such a long time since uh, college, COS in the house. For real. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, she is a friend of the podcast. She was on a few seasons ago, right? With, um, yeah, talking about mental health. So she's a friend of the podcast. She's a fan of the podcast. She listens yeah. to us. She supports us. And we're so grateful that she is here today. She is the pastor, pastor, excuse me, and the overseer of New Deliverance Restoration Center for All People in Durham, North Carolina. She is a licensed clinical social worker uh, with her own business uh, called Well Life Counseling and Spiritual Center, as well yeah. as she is a same gender loving person. And so we wanted to have her here because we thought it was befitting since we're having the conversation, you know, to have someone with that perspective to uh, interject uh, through the conversation. So. So, guys, we're here uh, talking about this. So what did you guys think about this? Like when the whole controversy began, you know, with Target and the the boycotting and, and all of that kind of stuff, like what were your first thoughts like when it came to uh, this whole situation? Like and anybody can start first. <laughs> I'll let our guests start first. <laughs> okay, should be good. I have been keeping up with okay. the latest, you know, happenings uh, with Target and you know other companies. There was also a, um, not specifically related to Pride Month, but there was a, a Balenciaga um, uh, controversy that came out where it was. Uh, satanic targeting to young children wow. um, sexualizing uh, young children and promoting um, uh, pedophilia mm. so wow. that came out a few months ago as well uh, with Balenciaga so um, how I feel about it I would say that you know we all have a right to freedom of speech Okay. And I think we need to be more respectful of other people's thoughts and beliefs, regardless if we agree with them or not. We all have a right as citizens to speak up and to speak out. So I do not agree with or condone violence in 
any way, shape, form, or fashion. Bomb threats, and things of that nature. I do not agree with that. However, on this campaign that Target, um, you know, in their attempt to be woke or in their attempt to, I don't believe that it has anything to do with being woke. I think it all boils down to the 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 the, the bottom line, the cash money. <laughs> My Lord, <laughs> well, up on any bandwagon that's going to bring them in any money, but as a believer. I staunchly agree with protesting these satanic campaigns that these billion dollar companies are promoting. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do not agree with it um, because of my beliefs as a Christian or if I prefer to say follower of Christ, I'm not going to support anything that is promoting over-sexualization of children. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to support anything that is promoting uh, satanic beliefs or anything of that nature. I don't care what month it is. <laughs> because before, you know, sexuality, I am first a believer. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I my morals stand with you know, what the Bible says you know, about uh, come out from among them and be ye separate. Mm -hmm. And so I do think that we as believers should take more of a stand in this day and time more than ever to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ because the enemy has become relentless. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day, you know, the you might have known somebody was a possible sat Satanist or a cultist if they were dressed in all black, long <laughs> hair, all black makeup. You know, it was, Gothic. you know, but you didn't see that very often, not where I grew up. Yeah. So it was very, you know, jarring when you saw someone, you know, dressed like that or had an Instagram somewhere, you know, on their clothing or bodies or, or things like that. You know, mm -hmm. it was more secretive. It was more, you know, in the bottom of the basement, you know, at, <laughs> in the midnight hour somewhere. But now <laughs> you know, the enemy is emboldened, Yeah, mm. you know, and he is attacking our children. He is attacking our the next generation mm. because the Bible does declare that with each generation, they become weaker but yet they have all the knowledge mm. in the world mm. but yet they cannot stand and have no foundation to stand upon mm -hmm. so i believe that we as believers will have to embolden our stance yeah. in declaring that jesus christ is the way the truth and the life, and no man can come unto the Father but by Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> that, that's My the Lord. gospel. That's that's <laughs> the gospel. Yeah. Gotta preach. I'm telling you. I think, um, honestly, to be uh, when I f I was a little late to the party with some of what was going on until Holly brought it to my attention, and then I was able to go do some more research myself. Um, specifically regarding the target um, situation. So my stance may be uh, maybe controversial to some for believers, but I'm kind of along the, the lines of Shamika. There are so many designers and manufacturers and producers of products and goods that we utilize on a daily basis. Um, mm -hmm. And the reality is, I don't know, what Jeff Bezos really got going on in the back room closet. I don't right. know who he serves. I don't know what his sexuality is. I don't know. And so I kind of felt like that was, um, I felt like we stuck, we, we made a, a mountain out of a molehill because you can go and target at any moment and get a target brand item and not know the backstory of it. 
Um, and then like just even once I kind of start reading a little bit deeper, even with some of the, you know, people were com- were concerned and upset about baby clothes and, you know, not trying to make it, not trying to minimize it, but my two month old baby doesn't know what he has on anyway, whether he got on a white onesie or a pride onesie, that stuff is for the parents. That's for the Mm. parents to say, this is what we believe. This is how I identify. And the reality is whether I agree with it or not, do I feel like we should be pressuring our kids or exposing our children to sexuality prematurely? Just speaking about the books, I'm not, I'm not a girl or was it by, by the binary? Mm -hmm. I think no, I don't. I think that just like how when we were we're all in the same age bracket, we all were exposed to uh, sexuality in uh, the appropriate age, time and frame, and health and and health classes. And we, when you start puberty right. and you start your 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 menstrual cycle, you start learning about your bodies and the girls and the boys and the differences. I think the sh- I think we've gotten away from some of the basic stuff. My five year old niece doesn't understand binary and non-binary. these mm-hmm. are these are things that are taught like you teach a child racism so um back to my point i personally wasn't taken i wasn't offended as a believer per se about target advertising for pride month because target advertised for every month. They're also advertising for Juneteenth. They're also advertising for Halloween. When it comes, they're going to advertise for Christmas at the end of the day is what Shamika said It's the bottom line. And they're going to do things that's going to bring money when they, they find as any smart business does what's hot and what, who they can identify with down even to Budweiser. Um, This dude has, millions of followers or mm-hmm. Delvin has millions of followers. It would be ignorant of Budweiser not to say, hey, drink this beer. Oh, Tab <laughs> Brown has millions of followers. It would be ignorant of them not to tap into this African-American market and 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 so on and so forth and not give her a space to promote her food, her clothing, her cookware. So right. that's that's kind of how I looked at it, that they were doing what Target does. Yeah, and I, I definitely I agree with with all of what you guys are saying as far as the whole it being about the bottom line, it being about the money um, and all that stuff and them not really considering, you know, that people was going to go because to be honest they have they've been celebrating pride for I don't know how long so it's yeah. just this year <laughs> that <laughs> really the outrage for some reason just went to the moon uh <laughs> about it and you know <laughs> and so because they were you know and I don't know if maybe it had to do with the products and them finding that link between the Aberellum I don't even know if I'm saying the, the name of the, the company right <laughs> but um Eric Carnell, him being the designer and that kind of correlation between the whole satanic thing I don't know if that's what took it to another level because when they asked him about the whole satanic thing in the article he basically said like what the nuns are doing that that's what he was doing was kind of reappropriating like using the same symbol that's been using used against the lgbtq community as a sarcastic statement kind of like that he wasn't necessarily a satanist but you know but either way it's like um yeah that's <laughs> not yeah good but <laughs> but yeah so i think it, maybe that was the reason why you know there was so much more shock and awe or maybe it's the political climate i know i saw a lot of that you know uh with you know uh conservatism and you know that whole thing, that rise, and just, I guess, this idea and belief of infiltration, you know, not just you selling a product, but you trying to infiltrate, infiltrate, like, what's an agenda to corrupt the children, and so I think that that is what kind of brought, because, I mean, some of them book title names, Bye Bye Binary and Pride... (laughs) And one, two, three, and I'm not a girl for ages two through eight. eight. 
Yeah. Right. I don't even yes. thinking about sexuality, <coughs> boys. I didn't even have a sexual desire. <laughs> Why are we making books for children that early? Right. About sex. I, I just I don't understand it. I, I right. don't because th- so that's the part. It's like, like I understand the part of what Sweet is saying. Like you know they're. It's, you know, the different, you know, months they did it for black history. They did it for this. They, you know, they're partner partnering with different designers that have a lot of followers. Yes. But it's that part of it where it's like, you know, allow people to make their own decisions, but don't mess with the babies. Leave right. Them. Until right. they have the concept to choose for themselves. Leave right. the friends alone. <laughs> so let me ask this question just to push back a little bit, Holly, when you say don't mess with the babies, because I think, too, I agree with you. Like, you know, I believe that sexuality in this day and age that we live in is something that's being taught. I also believe that it's being taught too early. Right. But who is it? Was it the designer? Because at the end of the day, it's the parents. This is the responsibility of the that's parents. True. This That's isn't right. a target issue. Target promoted something, but it's the parents that has to go, quote unquote, buy the book. That's um, true too. And and I and I right. I totally agree with you that we should not be exposing two year olds. First of all, they can't comprehend. <laughs> to uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the first thing. Um, right. To something as complex as sexuality. Yeah. But. Right. Um, I don't know if I know I would I don't know if I would necessarily say that's on target. I did have a question though with those five states where it seems like some protests broke out. I was just curious where those southern states, if it if it talked that's, about that. <clears throat> I'm not completely sure. Okay. It just said in five states they states. had received bomb threats. Bomb threats, yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. But more than likely it probably was. And you know, in the Bible built right. state, I mean, that's right. probably where it's yeah, gonna sure. be. Because well, I just I just came from New York, honey. And when I say pride stuff was ever there, everywhere, they was in celebration. They had no <laughs> <laughs> well, nary protest going on there. So nary. It's safe to say that it was the southern. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 So uh yeah. But yeah, so so like with all of you know this going on and and the you know when them them losing money and all of that kind of stuff do you guys think that the boycott was effective like and what i mean by effective is that it's going to bring forth the fruit in which those who boycotted intended if that makes sense yes i do if you don't like it don't support it well you yeah. know, <laughs> which is the bottom line, like, you know, like sweet, you were saying, you know, it's the parents, yeah. you know, it's not the two year old who's going in there to buy it, you mm-hmm. know, it's the parents. So if you don't like it, don't support it. Just like, yeah. you know, with anything else, if I don't like the product, I'm not going to support it. Mm-hmm. And so the best way to effectively change a system, if you don't like it, is to target money. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I also feel like, you know, at what point do we draw a line in our society and culture? Mm-hmm. You know, and just say, oh, well, it's a business. You know, they're they're being smart. They, you know, they have a right to follow the money. You know, it's a capitalist society. But at what point? Because to say that there's no influence from mm-hmm. these companies on our children, I think would be, uh, you know, nonsensical yeah. you know these 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 billionaires they do have an influence you cannot watch tv anymore <laughs> without an agenda being pushed it's true because that's what it is it's an agenda mm. and it's deeper than yes it's the bottom line but it's also spiritual because yeah. we're not we wrestle not against flesh and blood this is a mm. spiritual warfare and yeah. we are in a fight, you know, for our souls, mm-hmm. you know, the souls of our the souls of our children. 
because these are seeds that are being planted. Yeah. Whether it's TV, music, you see a satanic antichrist mm. agenda everywhere you go now. Mm -hmm. I was at the corner store in Durham the other day and I looked down on the cement and what's paved in it. A pentagram. Wow. So it's not somewhere over <clears throat> there or somewhere, you know, in, you know, Idaho in a potato backfield somewhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. And at what point do we stop excusing oh. over there just being a business and we speak out mm. against these agendas that are taking over. TikTok is taking over our children. And they're right. You know, Instagram, there is an influence and there's a spiritual influence behind it. Yeah. Because basically these Satanists, they're not, they're the ones who already have the billions. Mm -hmm. So they got plenty of money. Mm -hmm. So what's pushing even more so, I believe that the bottom line is a spiritual takeover for our souls Lord. and to dumb us down so much as a society mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. we adapt. Oh, you can't go anywhere without this chip. Mm. They want to control our very souls mm. by brainwashing us, dumbing us down. So that we have no, we become insensitive to it. We become desensitized to it. Mm -hmm. And the enemy is right on, that already took over, right under your eyes. And you don't even see what's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that too, Shamika. Um, 100%. I do feel like there is an agenda that is being um perpetuated and I feel like it's totally against the children mm -hmm. and it's Absolutely. coming for the children hard and if parents don't have the the spiritual insight and wherewithal and knowledge to be able to recognize it for what it is um, then we're going to have this next generation who will be the leaders be just yeah. as wacky Damn. Unstable, un, 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 no, no foundation, no surety of who they are, mm -hmm. because right. everything. And we talked about this on our last podcast about things being so fluid. And mm -hmm. so I, I agree to with Shamika and to your question, Holly. When you don't like something, don't invest in it. Yes. And it seems I think that had, I think that had the people just just not spent their money. Mm -hmm. I think it could have had the same equal impact as opposed to bombing threats. And because at the end of the day, I think that was uncalled for. Yeah. That's not necessary. You, you're you going to kill them. Like you're going <laughs> to kill them. These right. innocent workers who just trying to go get a paycheck to take yeah. care of their own families and themselves. You think that's appropriate? Just right. don't pay for it. Don't buy it. Don't, you know, whatever the case may be, you have the autonomy to do that. It's your money. You can choose to never go shop in Target if you so please. You can choose mm -hmm. to never drink Budweiser. That's that's how you hit people. That's right. When you hit them where it hurts. And obviously that did because yeah. they took down um the the merc and you know took it off took it out of the stores but i think that that's the merchandise in target is is literally the least of our concerns and worries mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it really is and to add to that sweet it starts with the seed the small seeds at first it's a t-shirt if 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 the enemy can just expose it enough then we become comfortable with the t-shirt. And then the next thing we know, just like on you all's broadcast, I believe you all were talking last year about laws being pushed in California to mm -hmm. legalize pedophilia. Failure. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we just have to be spiritually aware 
of the enemy because the Bible says, don't be ignorant yeah. <clears throat> concerning the devices of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how what it does. It starts with the little things, and then you'll start seeing, uh, you know, a upside down crossing mainstream music videos, and then you'll start seeing. Well, they already do it, <laughs> uh, right? Yeah, rituals and mm -hmm. all kinds of, you know, satanic worship. Yeah, to desensitize, mm -hmm. and then the next thing you know, here come the laws. Yeah. And it's okay it, now yeah. mm -hmm. for you to, you know, uh, uh, an adult to legally marry or have sex with a minor. Yeah, and the and the laws protect it. Yeah, absolutely, those laws already exist. They're yeah. in um in the United States. You can still um, marry a minor with a parent's consent. Right. Yeah. Oh, have mercy. Yeah, and it's <clears throat> it's crazy because. <clears throat> it is kind of going off the deep end because I was uh, watching this video on Instagram and it was a guy, he was kind of complaining that his daughter uh, now sits in a classroom in college to where her, the person who sits beside her uh, identifies as a cat. And she has to, uh, she has to basically, um, you know, say that you are who you say you are. Right. And, and at, if she doesn't, she risks getting, you know, suspended, risks getting things right. happening to her because she's not assimilating with that idea. And then I saw another um, video where it was this professor. He was caught in the park naked, violating his dog. I mean, wow. like, it's, honey, folk is going off the purity deep end. And so I do agree that this l level of um, when, when you talk about hitting people in the pockets yes. and, um, you know, letting them know that, hey, this is not OK, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, certain things that I named as far as, you know, uh, books to two and eight year olds and all this kind of stuff. Yes. But I think also equally the body of Christ needs to take its rightful place as it relates to um, speaking the truth of God, speaking his word and ministering to people. Like if we, right. it, what we if we went as hard uh, hitting folks in the pocket as we did yes. spreading the gospel, <laughs> then right. be, you know, right. society would not be mm -hmm. at the place that it is today because that's the, the best way, in my opinion, to have to see change, you know, is to um, you know, meet people where they are, minister to their hearts, you know, so that to me, you know, is much more effective than boycotting right. people, which I, that's a good thing too, because I mean, they lost $15 billion. And as a result, they of course pulled that certain merchandise, you know, off of the shelves. But I think it, it's equal parts, you know, us doing that part where we speak up, but also doing our jobs as believers, um, right. And spreading the gospel. So, yeah. I have a question to mm -hmm. that point because how do you, and I'm asking this to both of you, um, and definitely to you, Shamika, as someone who is same gender loving, yeah. and we seem to have a lot of the same agreements about some of the things that we're talking about. We're Absolutely. agreeing. Yes. How do you speak up in a society that almost, and I'm not saying how do you like, how do you do it? But I do feel like sometimes there is this, there's a divide. Obviously there's a divide within the body of Christ with, um, with uh, the LGBTQIA community. That's obvious. Um, there is a great divide. And I think what we're trying to do is given demonstrate how you can navigate those places but when we're in a society where everything is fluid and right. everything is being viewed as disrespectful or offensive if i walk in my truth and so maybe mm -hmm. my truth is right. you're really not a cat you're a human being that's right <laughs> and i'm choosing not to uh say here kitty kitty to you I'm right. gonna call you by your name, John. Right. But then I'm and and I'm just using that as the analogy because that's what you gave. Then I get 
the finger pointed at me. If I choose to say I'm struggling with how I identify you and how you identify yourself. Right. And, yeah. and, and in the sense of wanting to be understanding, wanting to be Christ, uh, loving Christ abiding and and being a fruitful agent of Christ how do I still walk in my truth as a believer and still try to respect you 